Good day everyone, it's me again Teacher Koy and welcome to Is It Math Tutorial. Our topic for today is how to factor perfect square trinomials. But before that, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so that you will be updated in my videos. Factoring perfect square trinomials. This is for the grade 8 mathematics, first quarter. So let's define first what is a perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial is an expression obtained if you square a binomial equation. For example, we have this one. A binomial quantity x plus 5 square if we expand this one the result is a perfect square trinomial and always remember that if we have this binomial for example this one quantity x plus 5 square pareho lang sila nito itong x plus 5 quantity x plus 5 times quantity x plus 5. Kumbaga, multiply mo lang yung x plus 5 twice. So, ito po siya. And the result of this one, if we distribute this one or we expand this one, the result is a perfect square trinomial. In factoring perfect square trinomials, we have to remember these two special formula. First, we have quantity a plus b square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square and the second one is quantity a minus b square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square and note the middle term is twice the product of the binomials first and last terms so kung makikita nyo yung middle term nila dun lang sila nag differ sa sign Yung isa, positive 2AB. Yung isa, negative 2AB. At meron itong dalawang situation. Okay? Pag binigyan ka ng ganito, or a square of binomial, ang resulta po is ito. Pag i-distribute mo yan, or expand mo yan, the result is the perfect square trinomial. At if you are asked to get the factor of this one, the perfect square trinomial, the answer is this one, the square of binomials. Okay, before we proceed, let us first define what is a square root. A square root of a number is a value that, when multiplied by itself, gives the number. So I have here an example. 4 square. 4 square is equals to 4 times 4. Kumbaga, parang may multiply mo lang si 4 twice. So, 4 times 4, the result is 16. So, the square root of 16 is 4. Meron din isa dito. What if I have negative 4 square or negative 4 times negative 4? The answer is still 16. Kasi ang rule na multiplication, if we multiplied numbers with the same signs, the result is positive. That's why positive 16. So, therefore, negative 4 is also a square root of 16. Okay, so let's go to our first example. I have here our first example. So, the given is a square of binomials. Okay, so, kung nakikita nyo dito, we have quantity x minus 3 square. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na special formula. Diba? Yung quantity a minus b square. So, dapat ang resulta is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, I have here two methods. First, this one. Ang ginawa natin dito is, this is a square of binomial. So, therefore, parang in-square lang natin isa-isa yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, first, we have this one, x square. Ito po yun. Then, the middle term is twice the product of the binomials first and last term so therefore our first term is x our second term is 3 so therefore we will multiply this one x 
times 3. That's why we have here. And twice the product. So, kung anong resulta nito, i-multiply ng 2. That's why we have negative 2 times x times 3. Then, last term, we have negative 3 square. So, ito yun, negative 3 square. So, plus negative 3 square kasi ito yung ginagamit na pattern natin. So, simplify. So, this is x square. This is 2 times x times 3. So, 6x. And this is plus negative 3 square. So, negative 3 square parang negative 3 times negative 3. So, the answer is positive 9. Yung pangalawang method to sa kabila, ginamita natin ng FOIL method or FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last term. So, yan po yung FOIL method. So, alam natin na yung quantity x minus 3 square is para lang siyang ganito, di ba? Quantity x minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 3. Kasi this is a square of binomials. So, ginawa natin, ginamitan ng FOIL method. So, F, first term, we have here x times x is x squared. Then, for the outer term, we have x times 3. This is negative 3. This is positive x. So, therefore, negative 3x. For the inner term, we have negative 3 times x. So, we have negative 3x. And for the last term, so we have negative 3 times negative 3. Therefore, positive 9. Combine like terms. Combine natin ito. Meron tayong dalawang negative 3x. Therefore, ma-add natin sila. So, ang result is x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, either of these two method ang pwede na gamitin po natin. Okay, so let's go to our next example. Example number 2. Factor x squared plus 12x plus 36. So, ang given is a perfect square trinomial. So, the question first is, does this fit the pattern of a per perfect square trinomial? Yes. Why? Because if we look at the first term and the last term, they are perfect squares. Because the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 36 is 6. At kung tingnan natin yung middle term, which is 12x, positive, positive 12x, is twice the product of x and 6. So, itong x, ito yung square root ng first term. Si 6 is the square root of the last term. So, i-multiply natin sila. That is 6x. Then, twice the product of 6 and x. Therefore, 6x times 2. So, the result is 12x. So, yan po yung nasa middle term. Okay. Since all signs are positive, so the pattern is, ito po yung pattern ginawa na, uh, gamitin natin kasi positive lahat yung signs. So, ang pattern is, Quantity A plus B square is equals to A square plus 2AB plus B square. So, therefore, the answer is quantity X plus 6 square. Ito po yun. Ito po yung binomial po natin. And the square root of our first term and the square root of our last term. Or, quantity X plus 6 times the quantity of X plus 6. Always remember na kapag May multiply mo si x kay 6, tapos i-multiply mo ng 2. Pag hindi tutugma dito sa middle term, so it means this is not a perfect square trinomial. Pero in this case, pareho sila, di ba? The product of x and 6 multiplied by 2, the result is 2 of x, therefore this one is a perfect square trinomial. Let's go to our example number three, our last example. Supply the missing term to make a true statement. So I have here a trinomial. So this is a perfect square trinomial. We have m squared plus 12m plus 36 is equals to m plus blank square. So quantity m plus blank square. So ano po ba or ano po ba yung value na ilagay natin dito para maging true itong statement na to, yung m squared plus 12m plus 36. So, the answer is 6. Bakit? 
the square root of m squared is m. The square root of 36 is 6. And the product of m and 6 times 2 is 12m. That's all for today. Sana marami pa kayo natutunan. And thank you so much for your time. And see you on my next video.